of el salón, the chronicles. Oye, ladies of el salón, the chronicles. Escucha, ladies of el salón, the chronicles. Well, guys, welcome to the next segment of our show called The Wash, where I can... <laughs> I can give you either a wash and set, or I'm gonna hang you out to dry with your uh, oh. <laughs> dirty <laughs> laundry. Elava <laughs> with your little dirty, dirty laundry. So, mm. so um, have you guys heard the latest with Cuomo? Yes. And Ooh. how he is being accused. You know, and and I'm a huge. I love the Cuomos. I love Chris. I love Chris. Well, you love man. Chris. I was going to say, you love Chris. I love That's Chris. That's my man. That's Chris. my man. We can share Chris. him. We I love how he's always like, I love you, man. I love to say, I love you to me, yes. Chris. Say yes. And he me. calls everybody brother. I love you, brother. I love mm -hmm. you, brother. Mm -hmm. But um, the older brother, uh, the governor. Andrew. A.K.A. The, the governor. <laughs> A.K.A. The governor, Andrew Cuomo, has, I guess, been a little touchy-feely and has said some inappropriate things to... Uh, a few women, two of which were his former aides. Um, and they are now, you know, pressing charges. And there, there was another one. That, so there's three now. So there's another one. So mm -hmm. let's see. Let's see if uh, my blind. Well, have you any... noticed he has a type? He does have a type. They're all he white does. and young. Yes. And yeah. blonde. Well, mm -hmm. it wasn't that one of the comments that he made to one of the girls saying, you know, are you into, uh, would you date older men or all this other right. stuff? Have like you ever been with an older man? But yeah. here's, yeah, here's the thing. I, I, I think that, so I like Cuomo, but I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in him right now because he's really, he's being really uh, uh, dismissive about it. He's being sort of very matter of fact, like whatever, except, you know, and then he was very critical of Trump. And then he's also saying he's he's brushing it off as I was just being a flirt right. and it's just not acceptable. And the fact that he's not uh, humbling himself and saying, you know what, right. I thought I was this, but I was wrong because it offended the individual. And so validating their feelings and their concerns. And he's being very like, whatever, I well, was just being I think, a flirt. Well, I think he kind of did say... I take full blame. I said some things that were inappropriate. I said things that uh, maybe es, es I thought were funny. Es el cuñado de Zuli. Cuidado, que es el cuñado de Zuli. Ella lo va a defender. Ay, no, no, déjala, déjala. No, yo la estoy dejando, que ella está. Espérate. Ella, espérate, But, espérate. No, no, no. Listen, I, I, my personal opinion is if you are someone of a high position, if you're an executive, if you hold, if people hold you to a higher regard, you should have better behavior. You should not be flirting or saying inappropriate things because some women can deal with it. Listen, I work in construction. I hear inappropriate shit every fucking day. But I know when someone is crossing the line and I know when someone is just being stupid and saying something inappropriate and I could just brush it off. I know how to set my barriers. I know that if someone is approaching me and they're saying something, I can I can joke around with a man. I can be in a group of men and they can say inappropriate things and I can handle myself. And I know that if it's too much for me or if they, if they cross the line, I remove myself from that. Um, I've had instances where co-workers have asked me out to lunch and I'll go to lunch, right? I'll go to lunch, but then I notice that mm, something just doesn't feel right. So what do I do now? Now I'm too busy to go to lunch. So there are ways that you can remove yourself from that setting. Unfortunately for women, we have to deal with a lot of shit and we have to stay quiet sometimes because if we talk, then you, it's almost like you, you're wearing the scarlet letter. No one wants to talk to you. No one wants to be around you because you're that snitch that went ahead and said something about an executive who might have said something joking and now you took it too serious. Stop being such a tight ass. And that is a problem in, in the workforce. That needs to change. I don't know that that's something that's going to change right away. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses are, a lot of companies are very male dominated. So, I, you know, I think it's wrong. I'm not making excuses for anyone. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes you, you have to learn not how to- Not your brother-in-law, not today, not your No, right. no, no, so... I think he was wrong. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't know that I'm, 
disagree, but be a devil's advocate. And and I think this is a very appropriate topic given the fact that it's Women's History Month. Right. <laughs> so I think that a lot of women in this day and age would vehemently disagree with your comment because... What am I saying? Little... But what am I saying? So, so let me get there. Oh, my God. No, because you're saying you let disagree me with me, but what am I saying? I'm yeah, not saying... What I... So I haven't gotten there yet. So what I'm saying is that a lot of women, especially in this day and age, would say, no, we don't have to bow down. We don't have to, we, you know, um, we don't have to not say what we want to say. We need to speak out against all these, you know, things or whatever. And we should and not I'm, accept. Hold and, on and, 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 but wait, no, because I think you, you misunderstood what I was saying, but go ahead, finish. Okay. So what I'm saying is, you know, handling yourself is fine and being able to interact in those conversations and all of that. But I think that in the era that we are currently living, accepting even the most minimal inappropriate comment and saying, you know what, I'm going to remove myself. And, and again, I'm going to the extreme, right? Because mm -hmm. I have been in a career prior to the current one that I'm in that is male dominated. And I, oft I did just that. If I felt uncomfortable with a conversation, I took myself out of it. Right. right? Um, and I was like, you know what? Whatever. I, I have never reported anybody. If I had to punch somebody in the face or, or do whatever, I've handled that, which is exactly right. what you're saying. But right. I think that the, the current uh, environment that we're in, women are saying no. So hence the, you know, Harvey Weinstein and all that other stuff. Right. Women are saying no. Absolutely. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to remove yourself. But that's a very difficult thing to do because you're right. You become ostracized and you become uh, vilified. And right. if you're not the, the wealthy people who are filing these reports and you end up losing your job, you're in a very difficult situation, you know, and that's the problem. And so I believe that the onus, especially Harvey Weinstein on, right, because that's the, the most current thing, is that men really need to check themselves. And that it's Absolutely. not okay Absolutely. to put women, because none of us would stand for any of that bullshit. I think we've all been in that place and we'll, we'll be the first one to stand right in, your, right in your face and tell you what to do with yourself. Right? Listen. However, there are women who are afraid, who are victims of trauma, who aren't able to manage that and handle that. And I think it's unfortunate that despite everything that's happened, men still don't get it. And they don't understand that it's not right. okay right. for you to say all these things or make all these unwarranted and all, all these, um, un, un wanted comments to make a woman right. feel anyway. So let me ask you first of all, when did these things happen with Cuomo? I didn't know. I haven't followed. So, right now. so was it a long time ago or was it just <clears throat> now? No, 2018. 2018 oh, okay. was when, it, okay. when they pretty much... Is he single? He's single. He's a yes, single he's man. Single. He's a single he, man. He was the, well, well, in 2018, wasn't he dating the bear, uh, the, the, the baker, the, the cook? The, the... I don't... That, I think so. I want to say yes. She had, double, she had a double mastectomy. That he took her away and all that. Um, yes. Oh, I haven't followed the governor that closely. Well, I follow his brother, years, though. Was, yeah, yes. I bet you do. He, but, was, he was dating a, 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 a chef. Yes, he and was she dating had a chef. He took her away. Okay, so he's time, okay. So so here's so he's, here's what I see is I kind of see a single guy shooting his shot a little bit. However, when it's uh, the situation where the female is his aide, because on both occasions, well, three of them. Uh, today there's a third one, but two so, of them were his aides, and the other correct. one was he just met her. He met her at a at a wedding uh, reception. So I don't know because that third one, you know, how is a man supposed to let you know that he's interested? without letting you know he's interested like i don't understand um right. you know because okay in the work environment the two first ones i understand i've been in that situation before and i've been sometimes too afraid to say something so i've mm -hmm. sat you know i've sat there and pretended not to listen 
or just, you know, laughed it off and walked away because, right. you know, I'm afraid of being in a situation where I uh, feel attacked or uh, whatever. I've, uh, you know, it's, it's happened to me before and it's a very difficult situation to be in. So I think we've I, all, I don't know that if you polled 20 women, I doubt that not all 20 would say I've been in that situation. Right. Yeah. Well, um, and, but, and, and the thing is that I think in this day and age is true. What Liz is saying that men should know, just, just, you should know, like, just don't fucking say shit. Just don't right. say it. Don't right. say it. Don't do it because it's just in a moment like that. I think that, you know, like, I don't know how smooth he is or whatever, but you may just say the wrong thing. And then it right. comes back to bite you. Exactly. So don't say anything, especially if it's someone that works under you like that. I understand. I understand the psychology of it and the Absolutely. feeling of like not being able to reject your boss and all of that stuff. So I understand that. that he's held to a higher scrutiny. Unfortunately, he's the governor. Right. So exactly. Exactly. It's not the regular so, run of the mill. But, but I do. I do want to clarify because I felt like Liz took it as in I was giving them a pass and I'm not giving I said oh, what no, I no, 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 I no, was no, speaking no. for me me what I would do because I work in an environment where it is very male dominated and in in my in my field what I do a woman that speaks up for example like if there's a woman that's an executive which we don't have that many and she needs to be heard and looked at as a person that knows what she's doing she is loud right because she wants to stand out. She is ballsy and she doesn't take any shit. Guess what the fuck she's known as? A that bitch. Cra that crazy bitch. A bitch. Oh, that right. crazy bitch. But a man who behaves the Assertive same... Assertive and controlled. ...is yeah. not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, it's a double standard. So what I'm saying is, me personally, I know how to handle myself. Trust and believe you, me, that if a man ever crosses that line with me, I'm checking you right the fuck there. And if you don't like it then don't come at me that way. Don't come at me because I'm going to hit you with that same energy. Right. And that's it. So don't, no, don't I even wasn't, come. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to imply that you were saying it was okay. I'm saying that in this day and age, I think that there's a, a, a bigger uh, a fight and for, for equality and, and boundaries and, and right. not accepting, not doing that because there are right. a lot of women who cannot. So these women, this happened to them in 2018, and here we are in 2021, which is always the thing. They're always going to say, well, why did you not say anything before? Why are you saying it now? You know, right. whatever. And like Mari said, you know, the third one, well, you were at a party. It was a mutual thing. But what did he say? Did he say, hi, how are you? Do you want to go out? Or did he say, oh, you have a fat ass, right? Like there's right. a difference. Well, I don't know that it was a mutual thing. I just think he was trying oh, to shoot okay. a shot, you know. Here's, here's, but, here's what I find what interesting. Is. Here's what I find interesting, though. Why is it that allegations always for people of that nature always happen and come out when the person is either running for re-election of something or when there's an election happening or when there's... And I feel like <laughs> what happened... It's strategic. What happened like back in strategic. 2018 when it happened? Why? Why? I mean, and, and listen, I don't know what they went through. I don't know. Maybe they found their voice now. Um, it, I'm not... I'm not you know, putting blame on the woman. You do it whenever you feel ready to do it. Um, I just feel that some women do do it for other reasons. And it ruins well, that's what it, they were and saying. it ruins and it ruins it for the women who have gone through this and now have trauma or are dealing with something. So Well, yeah. No, they were saying that it was um I was listening to the news that oh no 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 I was actually listening to the morning show and they were saying that a lot of these things and allegations, although true, are held until a moment where they could be strategically used. Right. And so sometimes, you know, either an attorney will advise them or, you know, uh, whatever magazine or book deal or whatever, hold off until, you know, because uh, honestly, like Cuomo was being looked at as possibly someone that could run in the future. People had suggested that he should have been running mm -hmm. um, in the primaries. So I think this all has a lot to do with it, but it was interesting that his brother couldn't cover him. Did you see that on no. CNN? Oh, he gave an announcement and he was like, Obviously, I know what's going on with my brother. I mean, I, I want I want you to get to the to the other topics, but I'm just going to say this real quick. Um, 
I, 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 he said, I obviously uh, know what's going on with my brother and, you know, CNN is covering it, unfortunately. And obviously I can't cover it, uh, but well, there, there's plenty, there's plenty of other news and people were like, oh, why can't you cover that? You could cover this, this and that, but it's no, like, no. it wouldn't be unbiased, conflict, right? Conflict of interest. It's a conflict conflict of interest. interest. So here's the thing, you know, New York doesn't have term limits. So he's up for reelection in 2022 for fourth term. And to your point, Mari, this is the time, you know, because he's going to run heavily should he choose to run again. I mean, he already said he would um, on his work with the coronavirus. Right. That's mm-hmm. that's going to be the win it or lose it for a lot of people. So, mm-hmm. I mean, Listen, you know, if we had a pussy grabbing fucking president. We yes. can have inappropriate uh, governor. Well, governor. Letitia, Letitia James has has uh, co- uh, uh, put in an independent counsel. They're investigating the shit out of him. They want to strip his powers for the corona, uh, the corona uh, virus uh, task force. They want to they want to do a lot. So there are a lot of people. So there's a lot of political motivation. But all of that said, I don't want to take away the. I don't want to delegitimize right. the complaints of the women. No. I want to validate them and support them uh, yes. if these allegations are true, whatever Absolutely. The, the reasons were for them not coming forward before and finding the strength in their voices now. More power to you. And right. I hope you find the strength to be able to move forward with this. Whatever outcome happens, that you are able to find healing within yourself so that in the future... This doesn't happen again. Right. Right. Ladies of El Salon, the crime.